Okay, so I'm going to be taking this image and turning it into a different character. Um, <laughs> it's not going to be very far-fetched because she's got a lot of makeup on, so she kind of looks like an anime character, but we are going to just do that. So... This is what I mean when I mention like study from like real life. You can get poses, you can get um, different outfits, uh, the character like. So take reference from real life and then turn it into whatever character you want um, afterwards. And by referencing real life, you'll. Uh, you'll understand the way certain forms work instead of just referencing other people's drawings. You want to make your own decisions. You want to... Um, you just... You want to understand what the forms are actually doing. And a lot of times, if you're just copying from what other people are doing, you're not really understanding what the forms are doing because you're basically taking what they've observed and then reobserving it. And that's already been filtered through an artist's eye. So they might understand what the underlying form's doing, or they may not. A lot of times, you'll artists won't. Um, always put down the correct information unless you're dealing with like a master artist and trust me like even in like the big leagues of comics the best illustrators will leave out specific information and you might need that information to understand what the underlying forms are doing so always um use reference like either take the pose yourself and look in a mirror and see how what the forms are doing or um, get really good photographs or get a friend to take the pose for you if you have someone available like a brother a sister your best friend your boyfriend girlfriend that kind of thing like always just try to observe from life where you can <laughs> Because sometimes photographs will leave out, um, or they'll be edited, so they won't have the right information that you're looking for. So just be aware of that kind of thing. Unless you're using, like, actual artist photography, which is, like, those pose books that I always, like, do reviews on. But you can sometimes find those around on the internet, the pages from them. Trying to keep her hair the same, but If you observe from life, it just makes your drawings look better, and it just, <laughs> if you're in high school, then you know this, your teachers hound you, don't draw in the anime style, well, if you're observing from life and then drawing in whatever style you want, your drawings will just look a lot better, so they probably won't hound you as bad, unless they're a complete asshole. And if they're doing that to you. Just drag them to my videos. I'll flip them off for you. <laughs> I had teachers that w told me that if I kept drawing in an anime style, they would fail me uh, when I was in high school. And that if I didn't expand my horizons, then I was going to be a failure. Um, honestly, some people should not be teachers. But, sadly, they are.
But if you can make observations from life and make your characters look a little bit more natural, you probably won't have as much of a problem with your teachers um, that I, than I did. There were some teachers that were totally okay with whatever I drew, and then there were others that were just dicks, and you're gonna get that everywhere. Um, but a lot of times, the ones that are dicks can't actually draw themselves, so they're just kind of reiterating what <laughs> the manual says. Anyway, so pose taken different style. If you can reference your poses, it's a lot better. They'll look more natural and then you can start incorporating them into your style. It's just better for your to get the drawing habits down now to observe from life than it is to try and struggle with it later. Um, trust me on this. <laughs> and always try to kind of incorporate some sort of a background. If you're doing a study like this, give it a frame. Incorporate a little bit of background on it. It'll just make your drawing look nicer. And then when you have to draw backgrounds and stuff, you won't be like flinching away from them and like kind of being afraid of them. So even if it's just kind of the simplest thing, like she's on a balcony and just the balcony behind her it doesn't need to be a ton of stuff it doesn't need to have high detail it just needs to give her a place in the scene so that she looks like she's somewhere she's not floating in space anyways I'm gonna cut this video here I hope you guys kind of gleaned something from my random rambling um, if you have any questions about this or any other drawings please let me know in the comments below and yeah I will chatter at you guys tomorrow. Oh, I didn't get my book review done this weekend because my book didn't show up. So if it shows up today, I might do it tonight or tomorrow. So hopefully I will get that book review video done um, this week. And I still have the pull list for you guys of books that may be helpful. Um, I have to put that together as well. Anyway. Hope you have a great day. Chatter at you later. Bye-bye.